never wear. I would never ever ever wear these as a mother of the bride. Now being a mother of the bride is a little ways off for me but I wanted to share 10 things to not wear as a mother of the bride and what I would wear instead. So welcome to my channel. If you're new here my name is Netta. I am a personal stylist. I am a content creator here on YouTube and create videos on style over 40 and um, I have an ageless style program that has helped over 5,000 women build wardrobes that they love so that they can look beautiful and feel confident every single day. If you're new here, welcome. I used to be a fashion editor in, in back in the day and a fashion columnist, and now I just love creating videos for you here on YouTube. And like I said, working one-on-one -on -one with clients through my Ageless Style program and through my personal styling services. And one of the things that has come up so much recently with my clients is shopping for mother of the bride shopping for mother of the bride dresses mother of the groom dresses i probably have 15 clients right now who are currently shopping for mother of the bride mother of the groom dresses and so they run the gamut from casual weddings to really formal weddings from budgets in the under 300 under 500 dollar range to the upwards of um three to five thousand dollar range so runs the gamut and that's one of the reasons I'm so excited about doing this video because I know this is a, a place that many of you are in. It's a little ways off for me with a 17 and 16 year old but the problem with mother of the bride dresses is that they can be it can be a challenge to find that balance between finding a dress that brings out your best as beautiful as flattering you're not trying to be flashy you're not trying to make it all about you you don't want to spend a bajillion dollars but you want it to be perfect all there's just there's just so many things and let's face it it's already a, like a like an emotional and kind of stressful time so i'm here to kind of take some of the mystery out of choosing a mother of the bride dress very excited to be working with glam laura today you're going to be blown away when you go to the site. It's extensive. They have an extensive selection of formal dresses, of mother of the bride dresses, and the prices are unbeatable. You're not going to, you're not going to believe these prices. Um, and here's, here's, here's the, the clincher. This is the thing that's going to make you guys go as crazy as I did when they first reached out to me. I was like, what? These dresses are custom. They're custom. They're custom. They're made for your body. So you, you, you take your measurements or you go to a tailor and have them take a really good set of measurements for you. You know, I think everyone should have an accurate current set of measurements of, those, of their body on their phone, but you, you send them your measurements and they make the dress for you. They make the dress for you. So it's the right length and it's the right sleeves and it's the right everything. Like it's incredible. And the dresses that I, I'm sharing here are all under $150 under $150 for a custom made dress. And again, the, ex the, the selection is extensive. It's huge. So I'm really excited to be sharing my choices. So I chose four dresses to illustrate kind of what I would consider choosing from Glam Laura for a wedding if one of my daughters were to be getting married today. So the first is this wine satin sheath dress. I love this. It's, it's kind of a, it's a, um, it's a, a really pretty modern and simple silhouette. It covers the tops of your arms without looking like you're covering your arms. It's just a very modern and elegant and simple and understated dress, but it's still special enough for a mother of the bride dress. So I love this dress. This dress is $146. I think it is absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, they call it the sheath column one shoulder resplendent half sleeve floor length elastic woven satin mother of the bride dress so i i'm going to link all of these dresses um my choices and then a catalog with the other million dresses that i found on the site that i love that you'll be seeing in today's video i'm going to have them all linked in the description box so this was my first pick as soon as i saw this dress i was like yes it's elegant it's glamorous it's subtle enough to be a perfect you know mother of the bride dress okay the next dress that I want to share is this hot pink sheath column dress with like a long kind of scarf detail. Love this, love this. Very simple, very elegant, very um, modern, but also not going to date really quickly. 
Now, you always want to go to the bride on color suggestions, but if she's open to color, then I would say go all in on the color and wear a color that is beautiful for you and brings out your best. So you'll see these dresses are red, wine, and hot pink. Those are the accent colors in my wardrobe. And so you want to, to ask yourself, like, you know, and ask the bride, what colors are you comfortable with me wearing? And then lean into colors that are going to bring out your best because that's going to go a long way to making you feel really pretty and special in a mother of the bride dress. So I love this dress. I love the hot pink dress. I love the simplicity of it. love the elegance of it. Again, we're going for a dress that makes us feel special, but also, um, recognizing that we're really a supporting player in this in this in this wedding you know scene that's unfolding okay the next dress i want to share again this is another color of mine a red dress this is the chic the glamorous v-neck long sleeve sweet train silk like satin mother of the bride dress so i love the the ruffle detail here this is great for adding a little bit of shape if you've got a straighter body type it's a great for minimizing a little bit of a tummy area um creating a little waist definition it's just a really really pretty flowy elegant and um uh flattering evening dress so what we're really looking at is for mother of the bride dresses is modern formal dresses or modern dresses that suit the formality level of the event that you're going for. They do not need to fall into a mother of the bride box. They just need to be dresses that suit the formality of the wedding. That's, that's what you're looking for. And these dresses do that. So I love this dress. I love the beautiful red color. I think it's just a winner. The, the next dress I want to share, the last dress I want to share, this is a lace dress and it's, I, I chose it in wine lace. This is stunning in black as well, but not all weddings, you know, are black friendly, black dress friendly. So I'm still kind of a traditionalist like that. You know, I know some, many people are wearing black to weddings now, but I still like to do a different color to a wedding. So I chose this dress in wine. This is the A-line off the shoulder, long sleeve, sweet train, dreamy lace dress with applique. So it's a beautiful lace dress. It is an off the shoulder style. So keep that in mind, you know, it will require that strapless bra, but often these dresses are so well constructed and, you know, they've got so much going on that, you can sometimes get away without wearing a bra. That's up to you. Um, but I do love, love, love this dress. I think it's beautiful. It's elegant. It's dramatic. It's it's um, really, really pretty. But at the same time, again, you're not looking for a, show, uh, a dress that's going to steal the show because the spotlight needs to stay on the bride. But you want to be beautiful and elegant and feel confident on that very, very special day. So I hope that you like my selections from Glam Laura. Um, I, like I said, I love each of these dresses. And the most expensive one was that first one that I showed, the wine satin dress at 146 Everything else is less expensive than that. And so um, really affordable. And they were all custom made to my body. So absolutely love that. Now let's talk about my rules, my tips, my 10 strategies for like what not to do as mother of the bride and what to do instead. So these are going to be tips that I'm going to illustrate them with dresses that, that illustrate like the what not to do and then the, the what to do. Because sometimes when I do what not to do videos, everyone's like, yeah, but you didn't show us the good stuff. You only showed us the bad stuff. Here, I'm going to show you um, good the good picks from Glam Laura. And then I'm going to show you other dresses that I've randomly found on different places on the internet that are, are definitely, in my opinion, a no. Okay, so the first tip about dressing as a mother of the bride is I would not wear a dress with a little lace jacket. I have commented on these many, 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 many times. Um, yeah, are there modern lace jackets? Yes, and I'll, and I'll um, link a reel that I did. But most of the dresses that come with mother of the bride, these are like what I call CYA jackets, cover your arms jackets. They're there just to cover the arms and they don't add anything to the dress. They don't look modern. They, they end up making the whole outfit look a little bit frumpy. So I would definitely skip the cover your arms lace jackets and instead choose a dress that has an, an all over lace pattern and just has longer sleeves and the sleeves happen to be lace. That is gonna be a lot more of a modern and more flattering option than choosing a sleeveless dress and having a little lace jacket that goes over the top of it. Especially if it's a lace shrug kind of jacket, those are really dated and, and just not, not your best bet. So instead of a cover your arms lace jacket, choose long lace sleeves on your dress. And I think this one is really, really pretty. Um, okay, the um, next uh, not, what not to do, is do not cover your arms with stuffy jackets. Now, I talk about lace jackets, now I'm, I'm talking about stuffy jackets. So, like, really prim and really kind of dated style 
jackets. Often these are jackets that come with a dress and they are in the same material or the same pattern or same color as the dress. Again, what do we do instead of wearing a stuffy jacket over a dress? The jacket over a formal dress look is very, very hard. You want the jacket to be modern and you want the dress to be modern. So instead of a sidestep that whole crisis and instead choose a dress with pretty long sleeves like this one. I think this is just a beautiful dress. It's a simple dress. Um, it's very, very elegant. It's tailored. It's beautiful. We are always going to look better in outfits that are tailored to our bodies, not overly flowy and like voluminous, oversized and not skin tight. So this dress is tailored. It skims the body. It's absolutely beautiful and it covers the arms while still being part of the dress. So can you see the difference between, you know, just throwing a jacket on top of the dress um, and like a, like a fussy dated jacket like the one I showed or wearing a dress with beautiful sleeves that, you know, is flattering and tailored to your body. Makes a huge difference. Okay, the next um, what not to do is don't feel like you have to cover your whole arm. So many women feel like, oh, I don't love my arms anymore. I don't love my arms. I don't like this little bit on my arms. I don't like this little bit on my arms. And that's fine. That, that is what it is, right? And it's something that happens as we get older. A lot of people feel like, yeah, I'm not loving my arms as much in some of these um, sleeveless dresses. So if that's the case for you, um, decide where you want to cover. Like what part of your arm do you want to cover? You don't probably need to cover your arm to your wrist unless you choose to, right? Unless it's seasonally appropriate or unless that's the dress that you choose. But but open yourself up to the possibility of, of maybe revealing a shoulder or both shoulders if your arms are still covered. So you you can wear a short sleeve dress, you can wear a, a like a an off the shoulder, a one shoulder, even um uh you know essentially a strapless dress that covers your arms and just kind of get creative because there's so many options like this so um i wanted to show you this i think this is yeah this is a full length a, a dress with full length sleeves and it's just a kind of a blah dress so you're like i really want to cover my arms but this dress is really blah and it's just not it's just not that modern it's not that chic um, instead, consider a dress like this, which is a beautiful, it's an off the shoulder dress that happens to cover the upper arm area. It covers the problem spots without covering your entire arm. So you don't want it to look like, we don't want to look like we're hiding. We want to look modern and cute and stylish and chic and all the things in these dresses. Um, and I think this one will do that. Um, again, none of these are going to be for everybody, but I'm just giving you ways to think outside of the box. Just because you want to cover your upper arms doesn't mean that you've got to necessarily do a long sleeve unless you want to. Okay, don't, number four, don't wear a dress with diagonal layers. The diagonal layers, I talk about these all the time, the asymmetrical layers, often in chiffon, but not always, do not wear these diagonal layers. They are out of style, they're out of style, they're out of style. Now, the reason they put these on dresses is because people consider them flattering because you can't really see belly or hip or whatever. Um, but they're just, there's so many other ways to create a flattering look without using these diagonal layers. They're very dated, they're very out of style, and they're very, very neutrally. So skip the diagonal layers. Instead, choose a dress with ruffles or some other um, asymmetric or diagonal details on them that looks modern. So the ruffle dress that I showed you in red, that's a great like uh, diagonal detail that can add the same level of flattery as a diagonal ruffle or you know those diagonal layers without looking dated and frumpy, um, but also you can do, this dress is so beautiful. It's got this little um, asymmetric kind of uh, overskirt, kind of like wrap on top of the base skirt. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful um, skirt, beautiful details. It's gonna be just as flattering as doing those diagonal layers, but a lot more modern and a lot more um, elegant. And so elegance, chicness, that's what we really want, obviously, as, as mothers of the bride, we want, you know, the, it's a special event, you want to look your best, so I would definitely skip those diagonal layers, especially, especially in chiffon, and especially in pastel chiffon, which I'm getting to. Okay, next, don't you choose a dress that is too conservative. A dress that is super, super, super conservative is going to be instantly aging, and also they tend to look a little bit more dated. Now, a, a wedding is an event that you may be having in a church, and you want to be dressed appropriately, absolutely, but you don't need to, like, cover from here to the ankle unless, you know, you have specific requirements for why you want to do that. Um, so you don't want to choose a dress that is so conservative that it looks like 
this is this is just a mom dress. It's just a mom dress. Like nobody else would wear it. It's just a mother of the bride dress. So I'm going to show you an example of a dress that's just so conservative and so basic and so blah and definitely dated. You want a dress that is beautiful and that really that that makes you look and feel confident that evening. And that dress is not going to do it. Instead, look at this gorgeous, um, beautiful grass green colored sheath. Um, this is a stunning, elegant modest but still um, modern dress for a mother of the bride. Again, you're going to want to consult with the bride um, to be on, on the color, but choosing a color that just lights you up, that makes you feel beautiful, um, it will go a long way. And then choosing a modern silhouette in a dress, that's going to go a long way towards making you feel really pretty and really special as mother of the bride. So don't choose a really, really like um, conservative, boring dress. Choose something with a little bit of impact and a little bit of style. Okay, um, don't choose a dress with awkward ruching. This is the thing about ruching. It can go very, very wrong very, very quickly. You want to make sure that the ruching is in the right place and you want to make sure that it's intentional. It looks like it's part of the dress and not like, oh, they tack that on at the end and it just, you know, often ruching just looks like it has, has the effect on the torso of the dress that the cover your arms jacket has on your arms. It looks like you're trying to hide something. You want the, the ruching to be a part of the dress and look like a part of an elevated outfit and not like just a standalone awkward item. So um, instead, yeah, it, it needs to be part of the design. So instead, choose a dress that is artfully ruched or pleated. Um, so again, it's going to have that texture. That, that can be really flattering and can highlight a waist and can minimize a tummy and can do all the things that ruching miraculously does, but it's gonna do it in a more modern way. So this is an awkward ruched dress, the first dress that I'm showing, and I'm gonna show you a more modern version that is, this has like a really kind of like pin top, kind of like pleating detail on it. It's still going to create a smooth line. It's still gonna create shape. It's still going to minimize any lumps and bumps but it's gonna look so much more elegant doing it. So you want to avoid dresses that just have like, oh, let's just put the ruching over the tummy and instead choose a dress that's ruched all over so that it looks like I said, like part of the design or choose a dress with another texture that is going to create the same um, flattery that the ruching does. Okay, um, then next tip is um, don't choose a chiffon wrap. Uh, chiffon gets a bad wrap. I said that. Um, chiffon gets a bad rap in a lot of my videos because so many of these dresses are in chiffon and, and so many of them are just atrocious. They're so bad. So a chiffon wrap, what is a chiffon wrap? What does a chiffon wrap do for your outfit? Absolutely nothing. It adds a little volume, which is not always a good thing. Um, it, it, are we wearing it to stay warm? No. No. Oh my gosh, no. Like, it, it, what does it do? It does nothing. It never look bad. It just looks matronly, like it doesn't do anything for your outfit. It's not gonna keep you cozy. So skip the chiffon wrap and instead choose a dress with a structured cropped jacket or again, we go back to this, nothing wrong with long sleeves, nothing wrong with, long. If, you want, if you want to cover your arms, cover your arms with sleeves or a structured, very simple cropped jacket in like a, 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 an opaque material. Not chiffon, not lace, not, not, you know, um, a, a weird combination of the two. Instead, choose a structured jacket or a long sleeve if you want to cover your arms. Chiffon wraps do not do anything. So I love this dress. This is a beautiful, elegant way to cover your arms without it broadcasting to the world. Look, I'm wearing the chiffon wrap because I don't want you to see the back of my arms. It, it just, it, it doesn't do what we think it's gonna do. Instead, it really detracts from the outfit and from our elegance. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go on again, again about chiffon. Don't choose a pastel chiffon dress. If you love chiffon and you want that lightweight floaty layer of chiffon, which I totally get, just do it in either a neutral color or a pop color, a rich color, a beautiful, elegant, like bold color. Do not do it in pastels. I, I love pastels. I'm jealous of those of you who can wear pastels well. Pastels and chiffon do not mix. They are frumpy. It's a, it's a, it's an awful combination of mother of the bride dresses, and they do them in like the dusty rose and the dusty green and the dusty lilac and the dusty mauve and the dusty yellow, and they are really, 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 really bad. They're just really bad. Do not do that to yourself. You will instantly age yourself, instantly date yourself. 
you will not feel beautiful, you will not feel confident, you deserve to feel beautiful on this day, and those dresses are just not gonna do it for you. So skip the pastel chiffon dresses. If you wanna wear a chiffon dress, look at this stunning, stunning, stunning shade and a chiffon dress, this beautiful green color. Green is definitely having a moment in style. And so if you love it, lean into green. Um, and, you know, and, and it works with the, the theme of the wedding that, you're, that you're, you know, your daughter or daughter-in-law are having. Lean into green. It's going to be um, a, an elegant and intentional and really, really cool choice. So love, love um, this chiffon dress. If you did this in a dark neutral, if you did this in whatever you know your your neutral of choice is, um, or if you did this in a in an elegant color, that's going to be a great option. But skip the pastel chiffon dresses. Okay, I think I've said my part about that. Um, number nine, don't be don't filter by mother of the bride. I'm gonna pop up a screen here of what happens on the Nordstrom website when you filter by mother of the bride. And Nordstrom has a lot more, these options are a lot better than you're gonna find on a lot of other websites, but just if you're filtering by mother of the bride, this is what you're gonna see. This is what you're gonna see. You're going to see mother of the bride looking dresses. You're gonna see all the don'ts on this list on one page. If you filter by mother of the bride, all the cute dresses go away and you only see the eh dresses, either the in-between dresses or the out and out unattractive dresses. So do not use the mother of the bride filter. Instead, filter by formality level. Cocktail, formal, um, dressy, whatever that, you know, whatever that level is of dressiness, filter by the formality level of the wedding and not by mother of the bride. So you're gonna see now the if I filter by formal, these are the dresses that come up on the Nordstrom website. So filter by formal, by cocktail, by any other, any other word, just whatever you do, don't choose mother of the bride or mother of the groom when you're filtering through dresses, unless you want all the cute dresses to miraculously disappear. Okay, finally, don't choose a fussy dated dress. Now there's this silhouette that's everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. It's got the lace top and the satin skirt thing happening, but there's so many different dated dress silhouettes and I've highlighted them in the other don'ts in this video. Those are all dresses that are out of style. They're not flattering and they are not chic and elegant and elevated. And these are all things that you want. You want to be elegant, you want to be elevated, you want to be chic, you want to be confident at this event and these dresses are not going to get you there. So these fussy dated dresses are just an absolute hard pass for me and I mean again it's that often you're seeing the, the lace top or the satiny skirt they are often they're often going to have high low hemlines that are kind of awkward. Um, you know, again, the the sets that are awkward. All of these dated styles that I've shared. Instead, choose something simple, classic, and that's a modern classic. So here's a, a beautiful example of a simple sheet style formal dress. It's very elegant. It's very beautiful. It's very polished. Um, this is um, a better choice for you if you're more comfortable with your arms. If you're not comfortable with your arms and you're obsessed with this jacket, then I would say, again, you want a cropped, structured, silk or satin jacket that you would wear over this. Um, and I will have some in the catalog for you to check out. But this silhouette, something simple, something elegant, and a beautiful color that brings out your best, that flatters your body, and that makes you feel like the, the hostess that you are at one of the biggest events in your life. That's what I wish for you. I want you to, to show up at your daughter or your future daughter-in-law's wedding and look and feel beautiful, confident, elegant, ready to celebrate the evening in style and not look like, uh, or not feel like you're, you're uh, dimming your, your style or your, your body or detracting from your enjoyment of the event by your choice of the dress like that. Style can be easy. The wedding part is hard, the planning is hard, maybe all of the personality pieces are hard. Let's make the dress part easy. I have so many beautiful options for you from Glenn Laura in the catalog that's linked below this video. I'm gonna pop up my code here so that you guys can, can shop that and my links, everything is gonna be in the description box as well. Um, let me know what your favorite dress is in the comments below and let me know what your favorite tip is um, and what you thought of my choices. Can't wait to hear all of your feedback. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me through the end of this video hit click like if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so we can keep hanging out I have so much more we have all sorts of events coming up in spring and summer right and I'm gonna help you look and feel your most confident and your most beautiful self at all of them talk to you next.
Bye. Bye.